guys, it's me. Please excuse the way I look today. Um, it's been a hell of a week. Actually, it's been a crazy two weeks. The reason I have you here today is because um, I told you guys I was moving and I am officially in my apartment. Now, what I didn't tell you guys is when I applied for my apartment, um, I applied for a one bedroom apartment. I was coming from a two bedroom, two bath apartment down to a one bedroom apartment. I was downsizing. But I decided to downsize even further and I got a studio. OMG. <laughs> So coming from a two bedroom, two bath to a studio apartment was a bit challenging, challenging, but um, I've made it work. So I'm going to take you on a tour of my studio apartment right now. And I love it. I don't know why I never got thought about the studio before now. This is amazing. Everything I need is right right within 500 and I think 564 square feet or 524 square feet. I'm not sure. I don't remember, but OMG. I love it. Here we go. Okay, I am standing at the front door. Here's my little picture up here. It says thankful, grateful, and blessed, and that I am. Um, I will never stop thanking God for all of the many blessings that I've gotten. God has blessed me tremendously. And I'm saving so much money by renting a studio. Okay, so enough talking. Here we go. When you first walk in through this front door, this is what you see. Okay, so this is the front door and then... Right here to my left is my living room. Now, I had big furniture at my old place. Um, I didn't want to get rid of it, so I made it work. Um, this is the little rug that's in front of my front door. And then right here are two metal um, little decorative containers that I had. And I just sat them there. They probably won't stay there, but that's where they are for right now. Here is, okay, here is what you look at when you first walk in. That water cooler will be gone soon. So my Buddha statue, wooden statue head, and it is huge. I don't know if you can tell how big it is, but it's really big and I love it. Um. So underneath, I didn't know what to do with this area because it's a little, you see it's a little notched in area. I didn't know if I wanted to put like a small little desk right there and make it functional. Um, I could pull out a chair, sit there and do some work on my computer and then fold the chair up and put it away when I'm not using it so it won't be in the way. Or maybe like a little uh, cube storage thingy with a little um, material baskets that go in there I don't know but I'm thinking about that um then over here is my living room area my huge huge couch um I don't have a a coffee table but that's okay I just pulled out my little um eating stand um I can sit there and do my computer stuff for right now um or eat on it if I need to but that's my couch let me get over here so you can see it that's my couch it's a huge sectional and that's my TV stand next to it is my trash I don't have anywhere else to put my trash can so it's gonna sit there for now I do plan on getting a bigger TV but that's just what I'm getting for right now I wanted some artwork over the TV but I haven't decided what I wanted to do. I was going to put my Buddha head up there. But I'm like, nah. I like it at the front door. So, anyway. Okay. So, <laughs> let me come back. Okay, so now we're back at the front door. You saw the living room. Uh, from the living room, you can... Here is my 
little dining area. I have a clock over it. And there's my table and two chairs. I actually have four chairs, but I left two of the chairs in my storage unit because four chairs is not going to fit. But that's okay. I don't have company. So two chairs is fine. I don't even know why I have a dining room set in the first place. Well, I had it at my old place. But now I, I didn't know whether to keep the dining set and then put my desk area here for my little workstation or keep the dining set. But I decided to keep the dining set because, again, this can be multifunctional. I can move the plates, the plates and... Um, Put my computer there, do some computer work or whatever I need to do, and then put the plates back when I'm done. I'm not done. Some of my decorations is still in storage because I have a nice uh, plant that goes in the center here. Um, I just didn't get it out of storage yet, but that's that. Across from that is just um, a wall that I stuck a mirror in, and it's going with the same color scheme, this teal green color and brown and, and green and beige and white so I tried to keep the same um, color scheme throughout the whole place and again that's the living room so let's come back to the living room area so we can go around to the kitchen area and this is my kitchen um, gorgeous I have the uh, I have plenty of cabinet space um, I don't even think, do I have anything in here? Oh, some plastic bowls. And then this, sorry, this right here, someone from my job got, bought me this as a housewarming gift. Um, I didn't know what to do with it, so I sat it here for now, and I was going to put fruit on each of the racks, um, or I was going to put coffee mugs um, on it. I'm still not sure what I want to do with it yet. I have another idea for it, but I'm not sure yet. Anyway, here's the glass countertop, uh, stove top. Um, that's, that's gorgeous too. Like I said, it's plenty of cabinet space. Here's my fridge. It's not the huge fridge. It's more like a... Mm, a dorm room refrigerator it's smaller but I can still fit what I need to fit in there I have tons of vegetables I love these um, some meats and then in my refrigerator um, I have you know I'm able to fit stuff that I need in there and then on this side there's more cabinet space these two cabinets serve as my pantry. Um, I have plenty of space for stuff. Um, and then my countertop. These are quartz countertops. They are gorgeous. Um, you can, um, they kind of glisten like little diamond specks. Um, I don't know if it shows up on camera that way, but yeah, these are gorgeous. And it has the, um, subway tiles as the backsplash which adds uh like a little style to it here is my dishwasher and then we have the country deep sink um here garbage disposal um so yeah that is my kitchen area now, from the kitchen, you can go to the bedroom, but I'm going to go back around the living room, back where my dining area is, and go up this way. Here is my bedroom area. Um, I'm still, like I said, I don't have all my decorations out of storage, but I have some th something that goes over my bed. Um, these walls are bare. This wall is bare, but... I'm going to finish soon. And then I really didn't need a TV. <laughs> I didn't need a TV in here, but at my old place, I had TVs in every room. And I didn't want, I got rid of one of the TVs. I didn't want to get rid of all of them. So I put this little TV stand over here with my TV. 
on it. So if I'm relaxing in my room, I could still watch TV. Um, yeah, so this is very, and plus, <laughs> if I'm laying in bed, I mean, like, you could see the living room TV from the bedroom, but whatever. Um, here is, okay, over there is a nice size closet. Right here, oh, please excuse the way I look today. Um, I have a nice size glass um, mirrored closet. And then right here is my bathroom with the sliding door. So we enter the bathroom. And like I said, I wanted to keep the whole same color scheme going throughout the apartment. So this is my bathroom um, which is really nice. Um, there's the sink, there's more storage cabinets down there. I, the only thing I don't like about this bathroom is there's no medicine cabinet. Like this is just a mirror on the wall. There's no medicine cabinet. So stuff like toothpaste and stuff I have to store in the drawers. Um, but it, it still works. Um, here is the shower and, and here is the nice stone walls and a rain shower head. Um, it's huge. It's, it's so big. It does feel like it's raining down on you. <laughs> and the tub. Then over here to the right, you'll see there's a door. If I open this door. Ta-da, I have a laundry room <laughs> with a full-size washer, full-size dryer. Please excuse my laundry. I'm still trying to figure out where to put everything. It has a bar up there if I wanted to hang stuff up. Um, the water heater is in this room as well, but um, I guess they couldn't tuck away everything. <laughs> but it still works, so I have a full-size laundry room. And it's also where I keep my mop, broom, dustpan. Yeah. So if I turn around and look out from my bathroom, basically you can see my whole apartment. But, oh my God, it just, it works. It really does work. Um, ceiling fans in both of the main rooms. Um, so let's walk back towards the living room again. Here's my bedroom. And oh yeah, I'm mad about something. Let me tell you. So I had to hire movers because I didn't really have anybody that could help me with my big stuff. Um, the movers did an excellent job. They, um, they got everything packed up and moved out and um, put in my storage unit within within two hours but I didn't notice until I got my stuff out of storage that they dirtied up my stuff look at this big handprint on my cloth bed and I don't know what to use to get that out I was gonna use just some dish detergent um, and you know wipe the fabric I was going to use some laundry detergent and just, you know, with a wet cloth and wipe that. But then I decided I'm going to get some furniture fabric cleaner. I mean, some, yeah, fabric cleaner and try and see if that will work. Also, I have spots on my couch. Um, and then on my little TV stand, there is a wooden piece that is chipped off. You know I'm not happy about that. But anyway... Um, so yeah, my bedroom, I can see my dining room, there's part of my kitchen, there is my front door, my living room, kitchen again, so everything I need is, everything I need is right here, and you know, it got me thinking, um, how much space do we really need anyway? Like when I was in my two bedroom, two bath apartment, I would come home from work, bypass the living room, 
I didn't even realize I had a living room until I was going out or coming in. I would bypass the living room, go straight to my bedroom, take my, you know, change my clothes, and um, sit in my bedroom the entire time and use the bathroom that's in my bedroom. So I would be in there for hours. The only time I would come out of my bedroom is when I had to cook something to eat, which, you know, so I'm using the bedroom, the bathroom, and my kitchen. I didn't use the dining room at all. So how much space do we really need? Like that second bathroom at my old place, I kept it closed. Like nobody ever used it. I never went in there. I forgot what it even looked like. <laughs> the second bedroom, I never went in there. I kept that closed up. I tried to turn it into my little yoga studio, but let me, I have plenty of space. Like right here, right there in front of my bed, right here in this dining room area, I have plenty of floor space that I can use if I wanted to pull out my yoga mat and do some yoga. Um. So yeah, I have everything I need right here. I'm not spending a whole ton of money to live nice. This is really nice. I have nice neighbors. Um, it's quiet. Um, I, I just love it. I love it. So yeah, everything I need is right here in this compact apartment. And I still have space. Like, I don't feel like I'm, it's claustrophobic or... Um, I don't feel closed in. You know how some apartments is, uh, how some studios is just one big open space? No, this has like sections, I think. And then one thing I was thinking about doing is getting that area right there that's from my kitchen to the bedroom. I was thinking about getting a curtain and putting in between that wall so I can kind of close off my bedroom. But I kind of like the the openness and airiness of my camera died. Um, <coughs> I wouldn't not die, but it automatically turned off. <clears throat> but as I was saying, I kind of like the open openness and airiness of just having everything right here. I guess I still could get a curtain, and whenever I wanted to open it up and let the light come through, I could. And then if I wanted to close it off for a little bit more privacy. Um, I could do that, but yeah, I love it, and I hope you love it too. Um, tell me what you guys think. Do you like it? Thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. I'm hoping I get some thumbs up. <laughs> and then tell me, this area right here by my front door, should I just leave it like that with my Buddha um, sculpture, statue, whatever, up there once the water... Um, once that is removed, uh, should I get a desk? Should I get some of those storage cubes and just have like a little cubby there? Or should I just leave it plain and maybe put those, those things right there over here? So that you can see that I have that same color scheme going throughout my apartment. Um, tell me what you guys think. Well, that's it for this um, video. I just wanted to show you guys my new, my new apartment. I'm so grateful to God that um, I was able to get it in the apartment complex that I wanted, wanted to live. It's not far from my job, um, and it's nice. Um, so, yeah, tell me what you guys think. Love you. Enjoy your day. Mwah.